So it wasn't the first time that the quarrymen had ever been at St Peter's because this was the church that they attended. This is where they came to Sunday school, uh, they came to scouts as well. And this is also where John and Pete and Nigel Wally were in the church choir. So let's take a, a quick walk along the path that the lads would have taken. And every Sunday morning, this is where they would come. And of course, if you're in the choir, one of the main reasons to join the choir was that you got paid. It was a good way to earn some pocket money without having to get up early and deliver newspapers. So that certainly would have appealed to John, no doubt. So let's go and have a look inside St. Peter's Church. And of course, it's inside this church that John was in the choir. And these lovely choir stalls, hard to believe, isn't it? John Lennon in choir robes, in the choir stalls, singing hymns. But that's what he used to do on Sundays. And of course, if you came on uh, weddings, you got paid extra again. So it was all, all good. And of course, here's the big surprise. John Lennon got thrown out of the church choir. You know what he was like? He would make up his own words, his own counter harmonies, and he could keep a straight face, but Pete shot and couldn't. And Pete would giggle like a schoolgirl. And eventually they got too much for the choir master. And he said, that was it, Lennon, you're out. But it is, it's a beautiful church. And one that the lads had attended since they were very young. And so in a way, when they played on the 6th of July, 1957, it wasn't, let's let a local rock and roll group in. It was, let's let the lads from the church, from the youth club, let them play. They've got this little skiffle group. And it was Pete Shotton's mum, who was on the organizing committee who actually suggested letting the quarry men play. So that's how they ended up playing at St. Peter's that day. They weren't the main attraction. No, the main attraction was the police dog display team. That's what people came to see, to take part in the annual summer fete and it was your typical old english summer fair you'd have stalls you know coconut shy little games to play stuff like that and it was good fun but of course it's gone down in history as the most historic summer fair because of the meeting of john and paul